If you've been keeping up with what is happening in Formula 1 right now, then you'll know we're in the middle of what could be the biggest controversy in the sport's history. Spygate and Crashgate were huge, but Capgate has a chance to bring Formula 1 to a new low. Mercedes are obviously fuming about Red Bull overspending the budget cap in 2021 and are plotting their retaliation. Toto Wolf has a lot to say, and today we'll fill you in on what his potential route of retaliation will be. One day, Max Verstappen might just win a world title in routine Formula 1 fashion. He finishes the race and everyone is 100% sure he's the victor. Based on his dominance this year, that time will come. No matter what you have to say about Red Bull, budget caps or the RB18, Max is clearly one of the few drivers whose skill is distinguishable from the car. Yet, the procession that was his 2022 championship triumph concluded in a manner that was as intoxicating as it was infuriating for all involved. While Verstappen's thrilling, controversial last lap overtake in Abu Dhabi sealed a maiden title which was, and still is followed by question marks, this year's was somehow even more perplexing. After the chequered flag, and even in the post-race interview, the Red Bull driver believed he would have to wait two weeks for his crowning moment in Austin. While this year's title triumph is finally confirmed, Red Bull's breach of the budget cap in 2021 means we may have to wait until this time next year to be 100% sure. This is just one of many questions that Red Bull's breach of the budget cap is throwing up. No one wanted 2021 to end in court because it would look ridiculous for the title to be decided a couple of months after the final race. How stupid will it seem if it's decided a year after the last race? Perhaps what is more worrying is what precedent does it set if Red Bull are not punished as harshly as the rules allow? If your child steals from your wallet and goes down the shop to buy some sweets for themselves, you have to punish them as harshly as possible to make sure they know that stealing isn't okay. If you just give them a quick telling off, then they'll do it again because $10 of sweets in exchange for a few strong words is a trade they'll always make. $10 of sweets for two weeks without their PlayStation, though, is not worth it so they won't steal again. In Red Bull's case, if they aren't punished harshly, the rest of the teams will think, oh, that isn't too bad, maybe we should break the rules as well. Formula 1 teams don't care about money, they care about winning, and that is where you have to hurt them. Reduce their budget for upcoming years, reduce their aero testing time, make them start from the back of the grid for a whole season if need be. Make sure the punishment hurts. Otherwise, you'll get teams doing exactly what Toto Wolff is threatening to do. Mercedes have not been competitive this season, not in the same way Red Bull and Ferrari have been. That is down to massive mistakes made during the early development phase of the 2022 car. Mistakes which are very expensive to fix. They've been looking for ways to resolve the problem this season, while staying within the confines of the budget cap, but that obviously hasn't worked. If Red Bull get away lightly with their breach though, Mercedes would be in a position to do the exact same thing. It is being reported in the Italian media that Mercedes are preparing a second budget plan, based on the fact that Red Bull may only get fined for exceeding the cap. Red Bull released a statement following their failure to obtain the Certificate of Compliance with the 2021 budget cap, declaring itself surprised and disappointed, and ready to evaluate all the options at its disposal. One of those options could be a plea bargain with the FIA, a way out that would prevent Red Bull from being judged by a board in which they would appear in front of that would contain five members of the other nine teams entered in the F1 championship. In a plea deal, Red Bull would have to hold their hands up and admit to breaking the cap. In admitting their guilt, they may be able to get away with just paying a fine imposed by the FIA. The fine might be five times their overspend, so if they spent $2 million more than they should have, then the FIA would fine them $10 million. That is nothing to Red Bull. They probably have that under the sofa cushions in the factory canteen. If that is the outcome of the FIA's investigation, then Mercedes are planning to make the most of the lenient punishment by doing the exact same thing. Being able to spend an extra $5 million on development would help push Mercedes back to the levels of dominance they showed during the turbo hybrid era. And if the only punishment for doing so is a fine, then why should they care? Mercedes has so much money that no matter how much the FIA find them, they won't care. You see now why I made the analogy of the child stealing money earlier. This is the exact same situation. If you don't punish the team that breaks the cap hard enough that it hurts, the rest will just do the exact same thing. Formula 1 teams are programmed to find ways to push the rules for their own advantage. 
If you show them a way to push the cost cap rules and tell them the only punishment will be a little fine, then they'll all do it. And at that point, there is no point in having a cost cap at all. While there are plenty of reports on Mercedes' plans to break the rules in retaliation against Red Bull and the FIA, Martin Brundle isn't convinced. He said, It's got to be made clear that you stick to the cost cap or it's going to hurt. The touted amount could be a new front wing or a floor or something like that. All of the teams somehow or other will be making the absolute most of their interpretation of these regulations. Also, the corporate governance of Mercedes-Benz, for example, means that they can't be seen to breach something like this. What Martin means by this is that the Mercedes-Benz brand wouldn't allow Toto Wolff to cheat because of the damage it would do to the brand's reputation. He might be a part owner of the team, but he isn't a sole owner. If Mercedes-Benz thought he was planning on cheating, they would get him sacked quicker than you can say, no Michael, no, no Michael. That was so not right. Brundle continued, That needs to be the same for all teams. I'd like to think, and I understand it to be the case, that someone like Toto has to sign a document to comply with these. Christian Horner at Red Bull, all the key personnel and financial personnel should be personally locked into this. That's a critical area, so that they're responsible and accountable, as well as their company in being transparent and honest with these numbers. What Martin is suggesting is that it isn't just the team as a whole that's held responsible for his actions, but those who run the team who are also responsible for their actions. If Mercedes were to break the cap in the future because they think they can get away with it, then it shouldn't just be a fine for the team or a points deduction for the team. The senior members of staff have to be punished as well. The FIA's investigation may find that Red Bull knowingly overspent and did so with the senior management having full knowledge of what they were doing. Until anything is confirmed, we can't know if that happened or not. But if they did purposely break the cap because they thought the only punishment would be a fine, then the top management should be punished as well. This could be through personal fines, or banning them from being present from races, or even banning them from the sport altogether. There are plenty of options for the FIA to choose from, but Martin's idea is to make sure it is the individuals that hurt as well as the team. In Toto Wolff's perfect world, Max would lose the 2021 Drivers' Championship and Lewis would be crowned instead. It's widely accepted within the media and those closest to the sport that that won't happen though. Much has been made of Ross Braun's comments in 2019, when the financial regulations were revealed, that if you fraudulently breach the financial regulations, you will be losing your championship. So it has serious consequences if teams breach these regulations. The key word in that statement is fraudulently. There is a big difference between intentionally breaking the rules or conspiring to cover up said breach, and that of a different interpretation regarding expenditure. The FIA statement regarding the reveal of the 2021 spend said, The FIA cost cap administration notes that all competitors acted at all times in a spirit of good faith and cooperation throughout the process. Nothing up till now has given any indication that Red Bull knowingly and intentionally broke the cost cap. There is nothing indicating that they try to hide any breaks either. As much as Lewis Hamilton fans want Red Bull to have been stupid enough to cheat and then try to cover it up, that doesn't seem to be the case. That doesn't mean Red Bull shouldn't be harshly punished to stop a team like Mercedes breaking the cap in the future though. What do you think Red Bull's punishment should be? Let us know what you'd do in the comments down below and until next time, drive safe and bye for now.